Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Neverwinter Nights, the core campaign. I'm Josh, and today we are finishing up our quest in the Neverwinter Woods. We are going to go to the Realm of the Spirit and put things right that the cult has put wrong. First, I'm going to uh, prepare for a fight. I believe that there is a bear up over here. Yep, dire bear. So, first I'll have to get by this. But with my defenses up and the regeneration going, I feel like I should be able to take care of this pretty easily. Might need a potion or two, just depending on how bad the bear hits me. And the bear's hitting pretty hard, but uh, we're making do. Right, down it goes. It will leave a leather pelt, which I'm not overly worried about. Maybe something else? Nope. Okay. So. Uh, to get to the spirit's realm, I'll pick up the ceremonial dagger. Apparently, there are two of those? Because we had one from the Dryad's house. Yeah, there's two ceremonial daggers. I never noticed that. Alright, so uh, the first thing we have to do is interact with this altar. Uh, an ancient altar covered in grotesque carvings, bloodstains, some fairly recent, and surrounded by bones, looms ominously beneath the waterfall. Uh, draw forth the dagger and plunge it into your chest, because we have to transition between life and death to get to the spirit's realm, since it is a creature of life and death. All right, so here we are in the foggy spirits realm. Uh, the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get jumped by a bunch of little fairy creatures pretty quickly. Uh, we got Griggs. You will not and pixies. <laughs> now, one thing about the pixies and the Griggs is they can go invisible, and they can also disenchant. And they also set up these entanglement areas. Okay. Um, I might not pick up all the fairy dust, but uh, just want to check and make sure because sometimes they drop potions and stuff that can be very helpful. Gold. Right. Next, we cross over, and there is a. Gibbering Dwarf here, and a Will-O-Wisp. So I'm going to take care of this Will-O-Wisp first. Alright, uh, the Dwarf becomes agitated if you talk to him, but he has some information. I'm going to prepare by getting my defenses up again. Disappear once the fairies show back up. This is this, anyways. Uh, it's a rod of beguiling. I can charm person and dominate person with it. That could be very useful. But first, let's talk to this dwarf. Well met. His name is Relmar. Udi Oli, what's this man who shares me frying pan? Uh, I'm Kigro. Who are you? Who are I? Who be me? That's not the thing I told the tree. I tell ye once and then no more. Me name be locked behind a door. The door can open if ye try, but if ye le if ye lose, then say goodbye. Um, trying to ask some questions. Do you think you can answer some? I fly through the air, or live in a shoe. Take your time and think it through. What has driven you crazy? I must be hazy, my thoughts are lazy. It's not my plane, I say with disdain. That almost made sense. Do you mean you're crazy because you're in the spirits realm? 
Too long, too long, could not hold on. Got me mind, now in a bind. I think I understand. Now I want to try to ask you some other questions. I fly through the air or live in a shoe. Take your time and think it through. Uh, what are you doing here? When out of luck, then me get stuck. They did say hi, but not goodbye. I mean, somebody left you here. You can't get out. Like mice through holes, out they go, but close the holes to me said no. Uh, the job me did, though not know why, was to the tree to say goodbye. The spirit's sick, but if no die, but it not die, though I did me best to try. Me chopped it good and poisoned well, but now me be stuck here in hell. So you're the one who hurt the spirit of the wood. You know how to cure it. A vial with the cure does be, but you won't find it out from me. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody your secret, you can trust me. Up in the northeast, across the river locks, is where you can find a pile of rocks. Within the pile does lie the vial. I'm done listening to this, goodbye. May hat be gone. Who would know? You hit it on me. Now it's time you go. And then he attacks. I'll have your life. And we shall defend ourselves. Uh, as soon as I uh, get my scythe back out. Uh, oh. uh, uh, Alright, so uh, Romar was part of the cultists, uh, and I took too much time to get through that text, so defenses have been hooked. But I should be okay. Um, anyway, so he was one of the cultists, he came into the spirit realm and uh, poisoned it and he told us where the antidote is so I'm going to grab that and then we're going to continue deeper into the realm okay uh, I assume Realmar is a fighter uh, although he's using a sickle but uh so he's got a bunch of hit points, I'm sure. But a critical will drop those in half, at least. Okay, and I've recovered pretty well since the bear, so I'm not in real danger of dying yet. The Griggs and the Sprites are annoying, but they're not particularly uh, dangerous. Alright, and that's a... White Dragon Armor. Uh, the book is a quest item that I can give to Arabeth. Okay. Uh, armor class bonus is 6, plus 3, cold resistance, and 80% of weight. Now, let's My try this one. is too heavy. It is awkward. Armor class is the same, uh, with other benefits. Uh, this has damage resistance, but... Uh, the spirit likes to use uh, uh, frost storm or ice storm, so having cold resistance would be good. Okay, so I can put this armor in this bag, and we can continue on. Oh, it appears that I am still encumbered. So, let me do a little shuffling about of items. Oh, the armor didn't go in the bag for some reason. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then I will hit a, another group of sprites. You will not folk. prevail! And the uh, fairies and grigs, or the pixies and grigs, are why I haven't actually tried to put my defenses back up because they're just going to disenchant them. 
stuck, so we'll just do some archery. Okay. It came close, so now I can try and hit it. Check the remains or just keep getting stuck. Okay. Potion, we'll take it. Right. And then there was a pile of rocks around Marsed, and that's right here. This is the spirit poison antidote. Another group of okay. you will not we'll try and get out of the entanglement areas, and they just cast another one. Okay, the will of the wisp is just. In on me. There's one down. There's the next one down, and now I'll just go with this will of the wisp and getting out of the entanglement area. Okay. Yep. So the will of the wisp uh, is incorporeal, so I have a 50% mischance. But the fact that I'm using a magic uh, weapon means that I can hit it. Uh, if I was just using a regular weapon, I wouldn't have a chance to hit it. Um, they can also turn invisible, but I think it did that already. And if I remember... Well, I'm not going to say that because I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, they can be definitely diff uh, difficult to pin down just due to the incorpor incorporeality. Sure, I said that word wrong. Okay, just looking around. If we find any more berries, I'll have to take care of them. Oh, nothing over here. And basically, I'm trying to make my way here. That's where the spirit is. Uh, there isn't any other really big threats. Just a bunch of the fairy folk. Hey, so it grants me victory! Okay, getting out. Entanglement spell. Getting out of the entanglement spell. Alright, here we go. Just draw them in. Now, I did take off the armor that gives me damage resistance to bludgeoning and uh, I think it was slashing, so I'm not quite as hardy as I once was, but again, I think the white bone armor will be better for me in the long run. Okay. Just leads back to the big continent. That continent, I mean the big floating island in the middle of this misty you will not world. Prevail. All right, the will wisp just turned invisible, but since I already have a 50% miss chance, it doesn't really change anything. Okay, and. Care of the will. Oh, no, it didn't, but uh, just bobbing and weaving out of these entanglement spells. Okay, um, in this game, if you're next to something that's invisible, you can kind of tell where it's at, but uh, once you get far enough away, can't you see it, it becomes truly invisible. Okay, and then just need all these spell 
this to go away. And we'll be all good. Nothing there, nothing there. And nothing there. Okay, this is a portal out of the realm, so I don't know why Realmar couldn't get out, but uh, he didn't try very hard. Right. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, I'm going to prepare for the spirit. I've got a couple of things that can be pretty useful here. Am I already in a fireball? I do. Okay. okay. Um, first of all, I'm going to do summon creature six from a scroll I got. And then. I'm going to slow spell. Then I'm going to cast a Globe of Invulnerability on myself. And Ghostly Visage. And then we're going to go take on the Spirit. Like most of the problems in this game, even if uh, you're trying to help somebody, you have to beat them up first. Yeah! Spirit has Stone Skin on. I'm going to... Once it stops buffing, I'm going to try and get the tiger to focus on getting it. Stay out of these. Okay, the spirit also has to go sleep massage. And there's the ice storms. Okay, spirit's almost down, so. It should do it. And it's taking out my tiger, but as you can see, the global vulnerability helped me out there and absorbed that spell. Uh, but I did take a little damage on my game potions. Okay, now that or or that uh, Area of effect spells on. I'm gonna get in with my trusty scythe. A couple more hits should do it, but we need to push them up. And it is also pushing up. Global invulnerability keeps absorbing magic missiles, which is awesome. Feelings of fear and hopelessness impress themselves on your mind. Okay, so we've calmed it down by beating it up. I'm going to loot its altars first. Okay, now let's talk to it. Uh, the spirit of the wood looks at you in confusion. Can you speak? Blurry images race through your mind. Very little is recognizable except some images of small animals and other woodland creatures. Then the images become clearer. A stream of pictures flicks through your mind. Woodland creatures of all shapes and sizes, trees and bushes, insects and rocks. The images are jumbled together and include everything imaginable that can be found in a forest. The image is there. Excuse me. The images slow down and you see one creature. While the details are blurry, it is obviously a dwarf. An image of the spirit appears and the dwarf does something to a tree, but you can't quite understand what he does. And suddenly the dwarf is gone and the image of the spirit begins to fade. The woodland creatures appear again, but this time you see them as through a red glass. The creatures begin to attack each other and other shapes that might be humanoid. You sense the fear and frustration of the spirit as the images jumble together into incomprehensible darkness. The spirit stands, staring off into nothing, looking weaker than ever. Okay, so that basically implied that Ramar the dwarf poisoned the spirit. Let's see if we can't give it uh, the antidote. 
The fear and despair are the spirit's only response to your return. I have found the cure for you. You see a blurry image of yourself touching the spirit, followed by the spirit getting larger. Yes, I will cure you. You walk forward and give the antidote to the spirit. It shudders, then the spirit seems to swell in size. Emotions of joy and love threaten to overwhelm your senses. You walk f I don't know. Uh, the images in your mind gain clarity and focus as the spirit recovers from the poison. An image of a fox curled around a sleeping rabbit fills your mind, uh, along with an intensely protective feeling. So now we have a friend of the spirit of the wood. Uh, now can you show me what happened here? You see a group of men come into the forest. A familiar evil-eyed dwarf is with the group. They go to the pool, and the dwarf steps into it. One of the men walks over and thrusts a dagger through the back of the dwarf's throat. Ralmar, the crazy dwarf. The image dissolves, and suddenly you can see that the dwarf is in the spirit's realm. A few minutes later, Ralmar is joined by several of the other men. The group walks toward the spirit's tree, spreading out until they form a circle. Three of the men rush at the spirit, while Ralmar sneaks up on the tree. Ralmar takes his axe and coats the edge with a green liquid. He hacks at the tree a couple of times. Mm, so that's how they managed to poison you. But why did they want to? The image returns with the two men who were not in the fight running over the tree. They start to dig between the rocks until they uncover a smooth, flat stone. One of the men in the image laughs and then casts a spell. The two step through a portal that appears, and they're gone. Romar goes to run through the portal, but it disappears. And the last of the men fighting the weakened spirit are slain, and Romar fly, flees away from the tree to disappear. What was on that stone? All images disappear from your mind to be replaced by a glowing sigil. The glyph pulses with power, and you get the sense of incredibly strong magic. As you look at the rune, the feeling changes from power to time. You feel ages slipping away from your present to the past, long before your time, before the demi-human races, even before the humans had power. The sense of time dis the sense of time disappears, and you are left with an image of the spirit placing the stone in the roots of the tree. The images recede entirely from your mind, and your body feels dis distorted for a short moment. Uh, the spirit smiles at you. The last thing you sense is a pleasant emotion of farewell. And then it sends me home. Alright. And with that, that was the spirit's realm. And we came out of it with a spiffy new set of armor and information as to what the cult was doing there and why they attacked the spirit. And why the Neverwinter Woods was being so uh, obnoxious. So, thanks for joining me, guys. And uh, next time, we'll do the exposition section of the game, where I go and I turn in all my little side quests. And uh, we'll uh, do some shopping, probably off-screen, just to uh, sell off some of the junk we found. But I'll turn in all the quests on-screen, so... Alright, thanks for joining me, and you guys have a great day. Bye.